All right, so today I'm going to show you how I made this uh, rack here for the back of my Jeep. Um, it's a little bit of forewarning. Uh, this isn't uh, meant to be a professional installation or fabrication video by any means. It's just something that I whip together quickly. Um, works for me. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, you know, inspire a uh, do-it-yourselfer to uh, pretty well make their own. Save yourself a couple hundred dollars. So today, I'm going to try to make a rear storage shelf to the back of my feet into this old tailgate aluminum carrier thing. First thing I have to do is shorten this thing because it's way too wide to fit between the pillars. So this old carrier is held together by a couple of Phillips head screws and a whole whack of rivets. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove these screws, take the ends off, take this old pitch plate off of there and then I'm going to cuss about three inches off of each side to allow fitment between the uh, roll cage and the Jeep. So we got our rack size down and pitch plate cut off. The good thing is this thing is light as a feather too. I didn't secure it. The points that I cut out yet. Uh, I'm gonna wait. We're gonna check it for fitment first. And fits will go about securing that with just a couple bolts and nuts. So well, that is pretty close, but I'm probably gonna take another half inch off just so it fits a little better. So I think a little easier. by measuring around the bolt holes here where this flat plate will be mounted to for our bracket. I had about 17 inches on the edge of the rack to the edge of the rack with two mounting bolts in between. So I'm starting with the flat plate. I got quite a bit of cutting to do to this flat plate. Um, one or two mounts to be 17 inches at our mounting base. So we have a measurement of 17 inches, but this stuff here is uh, six, six inches thick, wide, sorry. So what we're gonna have to do is cut our 17 inches off and then cut off two one and a half inch pieces. So after cutting my 17 inch in length, this flat steel, I uh, cut about four inches off it, but I also marked down an inch and a half from the top. Cut that off flush and then make another cut and we'll have two even inch and a half pieces. 
Now what I like to do to get a straighter cut is I'll clamp my line in the vise and I'll just run the disc of the grinder across the top of the vise and it comes out with a pretty straight finish. So my camera died, but here's the gist of what I got done. I took our brackets and I drilled them. I oblonged the hole a little bit for some adjustment. Then I measured the hard top, uh, the thickness of it. You see how high this plate is gonna sit on top of that hard top? Um, it turned out to be around a quarter inch, so I made a couple quarter inch shims. And I snugged my bolts down, see how high everything's gonna fit. And now I'll see where I have to uh, place my rails. So, I cut a length of steel and I shimmed it up just to check for fitment with a couple of pieces of scrap metal I had laying around. Now I'm gonna cut two um, risers and I'm gonna make these risers able to, uh, I'm gonna weld a bolt inside these risers so I can bolt these down. Um, that way I can remove this easily if I need to. All right, so I got my riser blocks uh, Round them off in the uh, grinder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld them together, and uh, I'm going to tack weld them to my mounting plates here, wherever I want them to sit. After that, I'm going to take them over to the drill press, and I'm going to drill them out. So first set of welds done. Now three more sets to go. So we have our pieces stacked in place. Now I said before I was going to bring these over to the drill press to drill them, but where everything's fitting pretty nicely here, I think I'm just going to drill them on the truck. And what I'll do is I'll then uh, put some bolts and nuts in there to hold these pieces down onto these. And then once the nuts are in place, I'll weld the bolts inside the holes. Then I'll remove everything off there and uh, weld the brackets completely, or the risers completely, sorry. All right, so the stack's built. Jack weld the plate and knocked everything off. Everything's good to the well, so now I'm gonna weld the east plus the plate. these mounts then we're going to take it off paint it and put the top back on get it all finished up all right so you guys can get an idea of what we have done so far put the camera and focus here but we have risers welded to our mounts here and we have been mounted in the soft, the hard top sorry mount, mount spots and we have nuts and bolts holding their big long rails on there and then to hold the rack onto those, we have a couple more holes drilled, four in total. Now, this will be disassemblable fairly easily by taking these bolts and nuts out. And you can take your rails right out after you take your rack off, of course. Uh, and then if you want these plates gone out of here as well, all you have to do is take these bolts out for your hard top, take them out here, your brackets out of there, put the bolts back down, and you're done. So now I'm gonna disassemble this again and I am going to get a coat of paint on it. Easy way to put a roof on a Jeep. So, now we got the finished product. It's all painted, installed, bolted down. This should have a uh, pretty high load capacity as well. Uh, I think it's all the steel we have on it. But that's what it looks like. We still have tons of room under here. Actually, let's uh, measure that real fast. So we have a total of 
They're 21 inches. From top to bottom here, so there's still plenty of storage space underneath, and this thing's solid, man. It isn't going anywhere. Hope you enjoyed the video.